Okay, so we've been going over radical equations. Yesterday we went, we went over everything we would need to know to be able to solve a radical equation. And today we will actually be working out some examples to get us a little bit more familiar with the topic. Uh, remember that the steps, you ready for steps? The steps to solve a uh, radical equation is to isolate the radical, square both sides, solve the equation, and then check your answer. So we're actually only going to be doing one problem today, but it should get you to where you can do all of your homework and the test. And I'll go over your homework in class. But we'll be doing your homework in class. So the question we're going to be doing is, it'll be the part of final C, the square root of 2x minus 2 equals x minus 1. Since both sides, uh, the radical is already isolated, we'll go ahead and square both sides. 2x minus 2 squared equals x minus 1 squared. When a square root is squared, it just comes out to be whatever is inside of the square root equals, this is where it's going to be a little bit tricky for us today, x minus 1 times x minus 1. We're going to have to FOIL it. So we're going to do the first two times each other. So that's going to be x squared and the outer two. So x times negative 1 is negative 1x. Then the inner is negative 1x. And the last is negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1. And we're going to go ahead and put the two ones together. So it's going to be negative 2x plus 1 equals negative 2 or 2x minus 2. And then we're going to get this side equal to 0. So we're going to add 2 to both sides and subtract 2x to both sides. So let's go ahead and do that. We're left with x squared minus 4x plus 3. Okay, so we have x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. Now we can factor. In order to factor, we have to get the product of c to equal b when it's added together. So we automatically know, I know that negative 1 times negative 3 equals positive 3. And negative 1 plus negative 4 equals negative 4. So these are going to be our uh, factors, x minus 1 and x minus 3. Since it equals 0, we'll have x minus 1 equals 0 and x minus 3 equals 0. Plus 1 on both sides for this one to get x by itself and equals 1 plus 3 on both sides for this one and it equals 3. So now we're going to plug these in to see if they're right. So our original problem was the square root of 2x minus 2 equals x minus 1. We're going to plug in 1 first, but it doesn't matter what one you do first, as long as you do them. 1 minus 1, so that's 2 minus 2 square root. 2, well that's 0, equals 0. So then we have 2 minus 2 is 0, the square root of 0 equals 0, that's right. Then we'll plug in 3, the square root of 2 times 3 minus 2 equals 3 minus 1, that's 6 minus 2 equals 2, 6 minus 2 is 4, the square root of 4 is 2 equals 2. So those are both right. Now that we have went over a couple problems, you should be able to take a test that I've made for you in Google Docs. You can find the link in the description of this video. And just remember to study and you'll do great.